Right, and we are once again back with a post commentary, but this time we are in KSP2. Yes, finally it has come out, and it does run like trash on my PC, so I'll be doing a lot of post commentary, I think. But yeah, to keep these videos coming, I thought I might as well just keep uploading them, but speed the footage up, and then frame rate is just not an issue for YouTube then. I have to live through like two hours of doing one mission, you get to watch it in 10 minutes so yeah that's how life works now until everything gets fixed but anyway what we're doing today we are building a starship and we're going to be launching a satellite into Kerbin orbit yes this is just the first thing I wanted to do in this game so yeah I thought what better way to do it than you know for YouTube so yeah, I just started making a little bit of a star hopper, starship thing here. I wanted to test the engine. I tried to make it realistic as possible, the engines, the way there were different style engines and stuff. But I ended up scrapping that and just putting all the same engines on and uh, just doing it out of, yeah, as you can see there. That is just not going to work like that, is it? <laughs> so yeah. We had just scrapped that idea of making it look good and just made it functional instead. It's quite annoying on the engine plate here. I'm trying to... When I'm trying to put the engines on, it just wants to automatically snap. And I don't like that. I don't want it to automatically snap on. I want them to be placed where I want them to be placed. But anyway, that's me getting distracted. Here we are putting our fins on. I wanted to put control surfaces on because I thought... I can't really make hinged control control surfaces like the actual Starship. So we need some sort of control in it. And I thought just making them totally hinged would be a good idea. So yeah, as you're saying, this is flying through at like airtime times speed. So I'm sorry about that. As you saw, the actual starship itself is just cargo bays because I want to be able to put something in there. But I've got fuel tanks in there for now for just testing purposes. That will change. I will. I'm, I am planning on building a space station in there. But I forgot to record that, didn't I? So yeah. Anyway, on with the video. This is what we are currently doing. We are trying to build the booster section. The, but the fairing just was not playing. The fairing just did not work the way I wanted it to work. So yeah, it, it. We have a lot of problems in this mission. A lot of funny, funny little cracking additions. But uh, yeah, you should enjoy it. It'll, it'll all leave us happy a little bit. And yeah, I really do think this looks quite a bit like Starship. And uh, our first test flight, obviously. We needed to change a lot. So I went back, edited everything, and here we go for our first Starship launch. And I'm just going to let you listen to this <laughs> countdown because it is brilliant. <laughs> Oh, listen to that, there's just the sudden thud of the engine starting and coming into life. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, we are sped up four times again. And there we go, look, a frame rate. I've got about 60 FPS, what are you talking about? There's no drops in frames, we're not running at 12 FPS, definitely not. So yeah, uh, I kind of, I don't like the way the wings trail like that. It looks like we've got streams hanging off the end of the, the wings. But yeah, this... I feel like KSP2 is a hell of a lot easier than KSP1. I'm just going to put that out there right now. It seems like everything is OP. Like I've just I've just thrown together this Starship rendition, right? And I've just got ample fuel to get to orbit and do other things. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit OP, but I've only got one fuel tank in there, Starship, now, because I al have also got a satellite in there. Or should I say a space station? And there we go, our first cracking attack in KSP2. For some reason, uh, I tried to time warp, I stopped the time warp, and that was it. Our engines just started vibrating themselves until 
the whole booster exploded. So yes, our booster was expendable <laughs> on this on this flight. We are not recovering the booster. As you can see, parts are just flying off in all directions. And yeah, it's quite annoying because there's a bug at the minute where you can't destroy debris. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, we're just setting up a circularization burn here and look at the plume on there. That is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, amazing. It, I mean, if one thing this game does do right, it is the visuals. And everyone complains about the UI, right? The new UI. I love it. I'm going to be honest. I really do like it. Now I'm used to it. I really do like it. So yeah, our burn manoeuvre was a little bit off there. I don't know what's going on with the calculations, but they're very wrong. So we have to make another burn to circularise a bit. But this time I'm not going to look at the burn indicator thing. I'm just going to look at the apoaps and periaps that you see in the lower right left corner. Sorry, I don't know me left and right. But yes... I was just <laughs> stunned by the visuals there, as you can see. I was just sitting staring at the ship. But there we go. We're coming up to our apoaps, and we're just going to burn too much because I decided to use the shortcuts instead of just putting a little bit of fuel on. So, yeah, let's uh, bring that back down with a little retrograde burn there. And yeah, as you can see, we've got a 124, 124. Orbit perfect for releasing our little satellite or space station core is what I'm going to call it. So here we go, I faced ourselves into the sun and I thought right now is time to open our cargo bay and show you the payload. So yes, this is working as half cargo, half fuel. And as you can see, we've still got quite a bit of uh, Delta V left on this. I just wanted a quick save in case the Kraken attacked our cargo bay. And yeah, I realised I was facing the wrong way. But yeah, I like the paintwork, how it looks, you make it look all shiny and metal like this. How cool is that? And there we go, we had another, had another little problem because I'd put the fins inside the parts, like clipped it inside the parts, it was a bit weird but there we go it's out with a little bit of time warps help <laughs> and i tried to turn the lights on and realize okay we've got no comms so we can't do that and then finally once they were out i could get the lights on yeah the comms network thing is a little bit weird i don't know i don't know what's going on with it at the minute it seems a little bit bugged so i was just getting starship out of the way there so we could get the solar panels out. I se seem like I'm rushing through this video. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to rush through. I'm just keeping it entertaining <laughs> and less boring. So yeah, people like everything rushed these days. If it's not 30 seconds or less, then they don't want to hear about it. But anyway, there was our space station core. Hopefully it stays in space. There's um, a few issues with things like that in KSP that we'll get into later now I was going to come in for a proper belly flop and realised I was going to fly way over the space space centre so I decided to just burn a little bit of fuel and then I realised 300 metres per second left uh, I should probably save that for landing so we can do a nice soft touch in the ocean and I tried to <laughs> Here I try to aim myself a little bit to get some drag to go back to the space centre to land on land and we just totally lost control. It started doing a ballerina all the way, all the way down the ground. And I was like, oh well, this is brilliant. We are not getting this uh, rocket back, are we? Definitely not. But anyway, we can try and at least recover it from the sea. So that was our aim here. And there we go. Nice little touchdown. No broken parts. You can't ask for better than that. So we recovered that. Had a little look at our stats. Went to Tratton Station. So yeah, go back to the Tratton Station now. And this is a little funny glitch I thought I'd save for you. So I was looking at that other orbit line. I was thinking, what is that again? And I've seen 
Oh, Starship. Okay. What was that? Let's have a look. See what the what this starship is. I can't remember putting this one in orbit. Trying to look at the periaps and the apoaps there, it just it does not work. So I thought we'll just take control. Let's have a look. Where's where's Kerbin? Kerbin? Where are you? Oh, what are you doing down there? <laughs> yeah, for some reason, it just threw us out of the sphere, sphere of influence. So I have no idea why. So, just delete that. So I thought, right, we best check the satellite is still in orbit. And look, Kerbin's there. So this footage isn't sped up so you can see what the actual frame rate's like here. And I was like, yeah, that seems like okay. Uh, hopefully it'll stay there now. We'll just rename this to a, you know, a very unique name. Very unique. You won't guess what we'll call this. You won't be able to guess. There we go. Very original. And I was trying to delete some of this debris that I've got a massive list of, but uh, it seems like that is broken as well as everything else with this game. So yeah, and then once that warning came up on the screen there about the lack of sun, I was thinking, oh no, has it thrown us out of orbit again? But no, to my surprise, we're still there. And I thought we'd just come round to the sun and have a look at our space station, part one in all of its glory. I really like these new solar arrays. They look so realistic and awesome. And the colour scheme where you can just have it bare metal on the parts, that is brilliant. Look at that. Look at that for a screenshot. That's probably part of the thumbnail. I'm going to call it now. But anyway guys, thank you very much. If you want to see more of this space station build, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.